What up YouTube, how's it going? Alright, so I got a quick thrift pickup video for you guys. Now usually I don't really do these thrift pickup videos, because uh, usually when I do go to thrifts, it's usually pretty dead and dry, but uh, I've went a couple times this month and I found some, some pretty good stuff. Uh, it's not really too crazy, but you know, I, I think it's worth making a video for. So uh, with that being said, I'm just going to shut up and get into the video. Right, so starting out, we got this Mac Miller tea. I used to be a big fan of Mac Miller. Uh, not so much anymore. I think his new stuff was kind of weird. Um, I don't know. He's going for the more like psychedelic vibe, which I don't really feel. I like his like more upbeat, like you know, shit that you can dance to. But um, the reason why I got this shirt is just because you know, for the summertime, you can never go wrong with a, you know, a basic white shirt. And the fact that you know it's Mac Miller, like I can kind of just wear this around the house and stuff like that. And uh, I am going to be going to the Philippines this summer, so. This will probably be a good trip to just kind of wear around there that I don't have to really worry about. As opposed to if it's like a more expensive shirt, you know. Um, like this can get stained on. I'm not really going to be too mad about it. So, there you go. It's like three bucks. Alright, sticking with that white t-shirt theme, we got this H&M uh, Henley type shirt. Uh, this isn't really what I would normally wear. Um, but, you know, I saw this and I couldn't pass it up. H&M is a pretty good brand. Um... And uh, I do like the Hanley designs. The only thing I don't like about this shirt is um, the fact that it's like super see-through. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it actually has like this stripe pattern to it also, which is really cool. It's a very lightweight uh, material, but um, the fact that it's see-through, I, I don't know. I don't really like it. I hate like just, you know, having shirts that you can easily see through. That feels so weird to me. Uh, so I don't know how much I'm using going to get out of this thing, but regardless, it's nice to have for sure in case, you know, I can pull it off. So H&MT, two bucks. All right, another tee I got from the thrift was this uh, baseball tee right here. Uh, it features a charcoal gray body with black sleeves right here. Uh, the fit on this is really, really nice. Um, it's really really comfortable too. It, the material is not too thick so you know I can wear this in the spring and summertime and uh, I won't get too hot in this. Uh, it's from Gap actually um, and normally I don't buy from Gap but I'm really feeling this baseball tee so I definitely wouldn't mind recommending uh, uh, you know if you guys are trying to find some baseball tees I don't think they're that expensive. Um, so yeah I'd definitely try looking for some baseball tees from Gap. The fit is really really nice. Uh, the sleeves are nice and um, tapered. You know, some baseball tees, the sleeves are like really loose. Uh, these fit really, really nice around the arms, so for sure. Uh, definitely wouldn't mind investing in a couple more of these for sure, especially for the uh, summertime. All right, the next couple pickups are going to be flannels. So right here we got this uh, like Christmassy flannel. It's um, It features mostly white, red, and green, a little bit of blue. Um, this material is actually really thick. It's more of like a wool material, so it's definitely geared more towards the colder months, like the winter time. Uh, this is actually from Sears. Uh, it says right here at the tag, the men's store at Sears. Um, didn't even know uh, that it was Sears until now, but I really like the uh, the fit on this thing. It's really, really comfy. Uh, but like I said, since it is like more of a wool material, I don't know how much you seem going to get out of this in the winter time, but for sure... I do like the colors, it adds a different pop um, that you know are usually you don't really get from flannels like that. So yeah, let's get on to the uh let's get on to the next one. Alright, another flannel up. We got this black and red flannel. This one is by Blue Gear. I've never heard of Blue Gear, but I really like the uh this flannel as well. Uh like that other one from Sears, this is more of a wool material, but um I like the design on it because the other flannel I have from uh, Tom Hilfiger is like a checker pattern, but this is something different. So, um, you know, it, it's it's nice to kind of switch it up with the red flannels because I do like the red and black flannels a lot. I think that uh, you can pretty much wear like anything with them. Yeah, for sizing, this fits true size, size small. And uh, what I'm definitely going to be doing with this is like, you know, wearing like a slightly longer t shirt, like layering, stuff like that. So, um, I'm really looking forward to that, unfortunately. Uh, this is pretty warm, so I doubt I'll be getting too much use out of this in the summertime. But, you know, hopefully when it gets a little chillier, um, I can, you know, wear this thing out. 
All right, YouTube, and last up for the plaid and flannel designs, we have this vest right here. Um, you know, normally I don't really like vests. I don't really wear vests too much, but uh, when I saw this, I, I couldn't pass it up. So it has that red and black flannel checker design that I was just talking about. Right here, this is from Matsumo Supply Company. And uh, this vest is really, really nice. So I like it because, like, I can wear like a long sleeve shirt underneath, a short sleeve shirt underneath. I can wear this by itself. Like, there's so many different ways to style this, and uh, you know, I think that this is going to be great for the kind of spring weather where it's like not too hot, not too cold. You know what I mean? So you can just throw this on and you'll be perfect. So yeah, I like it because it has a hood. Also, um, got this for like six bucks. You know, I really can't complain. Very, very nice, durable vest. All right, then last up for the uh, thrift pickups, we have these Nike blazers right here. If you guys haven't seen my trip to the thrift number four, um, I picked these up and I cleaned them as well as I could. And these came out pretty nice. I think the quality on this is still pretty good. Um, I got these for around like 11 bucks. So 11 bucks for a pair of Nike blazers. Uh, you really can't go wrong. I've never been too big of a fan of the Nike blazers, honestly, but... um. Actually, the, ironically, talking about Mac Miller, the only pair of Nike blazers that I really liked um, were the ones that he wore in the Nikes on my feet video, those uh, salvage denim ones. Those were really cool. And um, But these these are really nice. I like it because the little white hit right here um, adds a different kind of pop. Usually, like a lot of sneakers have that uh, just straight black body, you know what I mean, with the white midsole. And... Um, Oh no, I think that's so cliche, you know, a lot of brands do that, but I like the fact that this had like that pop of white to give it a different like look to it, you know what I mean? So it just gives it, you know, I don't know, it just it just looks real different and you don't really see that too much with uh, Nike Blazers and for sure the comfort on this shoe is uh, really, really nice. So I like it because, um, you know, it's pretty sturdy. I can beat this up however much I want uh, and it's not going to get, you know, I have to worry too much about it. So for sure, I'm definitely more of a fan of blazers than I was before. So I'm really happy to have these in my collection that I can just kind of wear around, beat up. And you know what? These still look good for sure. All right, YouTube. So that was the end of my thrift pickup video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, I'm probably not going to be doing these every month um, because, you know, I don't really go thrifting too much. And usually when I go, I, I you don't know, find anything. But I think it was a pretty good month uh, in terms of stuff. So hopefully uh, I can find some more stuff to show you guys, do more trips of thrift, um, especially that school is coming to a close. I have about a week left. Yeah, I'll be putting on more videos, but um, for sure, like I did say that I was going to go to the Philippines in the summer, so I'll be going uh, the end of June. So, you know, um, I'm going to be gone for like three weeks, but definitely while I'm there, I'm going to be trying to, you'll definitely going to be seeing pickup videos, I think, when I get back. I'm going to try to do some vlogging when I'm there. So, you know, even though I'm going to be gone, I'll definitely expect a lot of content for sure. And, um, yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at true underscore Pinoy 101. That's where I have, you know, sneak peeks to pickups, just fit of the days. If you guys ever want to, like, just keep updated with me and see what I'm up to, you know, definitely follow me there. I will put the link to my Instagram and Twitter. Down in the description. I don't really use Twitter too much, but I'm, I'm trying to get back onto it. And um, for sure, you know, just uh, share this video with your friends. Like, comment, subscribe. Videos every Tuesday. That's going to be my new uh, schedule. Every Tuesday, expect a new video. So with that being said, thank you again so much for watching. Peace.